Hello everyone and welcome back to Souls Tanding. My name is Beth and a couple of weeks ago my friend Elizabeth over at Lizzie Faye Loves Books decided that she would tag me in the fall time cozy whatever uh, book tag. So I'm going to get that done for you today. Let's go. I only have books to show you for question number one, so maybe we can get through this pretty quickly. Let's go. This is the fall time, cozy time book tag thing. Number one, Crunching Leaves, The World is Full of Color. Choose a book with fall colors on the cover. Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin, all gold and in red and stuff. That's very folly. And then we also have The Ripper by Stefan Petrucco, which is another one I'm reading right now and is all gold and, and blood red and all of that. That's pretty fall colory. All right, number two, cozy sweater. It's finally cool enough to don warm, cozy clothing. What book gave you the warm fuzzies? Um, all of the books in the Parasol Protectorate. I know that seems really weird, but Gail Carriger's books, uh, I don't know, there's something about her main characters, those really sarcastic, smart women that just kind of do whatever they want. They kind of remind myself of myself if that makes any sense and it gives me the warm fuzzies because the way they are with their friends and their loves that's kind of how I am with with people and so yeah it gives me the warm fuzzies just don't overthink it moving on number three change the paper fall storm the wind is howling and the rain is pounding what is a book or genre that you like to read on a stormy day now used to it would probably be specific books like you know, it's a cold, stormy day. That means I want to read Harry Potter. It's a warm, stormy day. I'm going to do uh, J.R.R. Tolkien or Narnia. But now it's really just the genres. So depending on hot or cold, it still kind of steers me to specific books within the genres. But it's mostly going to be fantasy, which is kind of mostly what I read anyway. But fantasy... Um, age levels will change and you know suspense thriller I don't know why but paranormal that kind of thing that really draws me in even more during stormy times number four cool crisp air who is the coolest character in a book that you would like to trade places with seems like all of the characters I find to be cool characters have really terrible things that happen to them in the books that I read um, so there are certain times when I would not want to be any of them, but a few that I really like that I think it might be interesting to take over their lives for a day or an hour or the few minutes between bad things that happen to them um, are Daenerys Stormborn, possibly like Blue Sergeant, Alice from Alice in Wonderland, Alexia Terabody, you know, people like that. They lead very interesting, cool lives. Number five, Hot Apple Cider. What underhyped book would you love to see become the next biggest, greatest thing? Okay, so other than my books, which I always link down below in the thing, so if you want to go check it out, maybe read a book, give me a rating, since I only have like seven, I think, is the most ratings I have on any of my books. You know, not whining or anything, just saying. I'd like for those to become the next biggest, greatest thing. After that, though, there is a middle grade book that I read this year. It just came out a couple of months ago, so I'm not sure this really counts as underhyped still. But some books come out with thousands of ratings already. And this one currently only has 76. So if you take away the rating I gave it, it only has 75. And that is uh, Delia Sherman's The Evil Wizard Smallbone. Like I said, it's kind of an upper, upper middle grade uh, fantasy book. It's well written and it deals with a lot of issues that are kind of wrapped up in the fantasy aspects. I think that it's been done really well and that everybody should give it a shot and will probably enjoy it. Most people will probably enjoy it anyway. Okay, number six, coats, scarves, and mittens. The weather has turned cold and it's time to cover up. What is the most embarrassing book cover that you own that you would keep covered up in public? It's called The Young Bride by Alessandro Barrico. It is a recently translated Italian piece, and um, I'm trying to remember the name of the company that sent it to me. 
anyway, they sent it to me and the front cover is blue. And then there's this outline of a very well endowed female um, without a shirt on that is on the front cover. And it, it embarrassed me every time I took it in public. I didn't cover it up. I just was embarrassed every time I put it in public. Number seven, pumpkin spice. What is your favorite type of comfort food or fall cozy time food? Um, my favorite fall food is actually not a food. It is a drink and it's this red hot apple cider. You make it with red hots and extra cinnamon and I absolutely adore it. I love it. I drink hot tea and hot apple cider and coffee and all that year round, but it's more prevalent in the fall time, which makes me very happy. Um, I don't have particular just like fall time foods because if I like it that much, I just make it year round. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, and number eight, warm, cozy bonfire. What, who do you want to gather around a fire with or who do you tag? I'm not going to tag anybody specifically because I would love to gather around a bonfire with all of you guys, hear all of your answers. Plus, I'm not sure who's done this tag and who hasn't. But if you want to do the tag, then consider yourself officially tagged by me. There you go. I will talk to you guys again soon. If you've got anything to say, leave it in the comment section. Have a great weekend. Bye.